perfect. All right, I will be polite and wait for people to show up because I don't want to get too far in. <laughs> and I scheduled my tweet because I'm smart. Very smart, actually. <laughs> Do I? Is that true? <laughs> Jenny V4 winning. Winning. We are winning. Maybe today? I think today might be the, the finale. It seems like everything's coming to a head. Uh. Thank you so much for the sub, Hellbrook. And I have been informed that I now have 300 Twitch followers. I feel like I should do something for that. I'll think of something. We'll think of something fun. <laughs> Actually, since there's so few people here right now, uh, I'm trying to coordinate a, a big collab with other VTubers where we all play golf because I love golfing video games <laughs> but it's it's mini golf so I mean it wouldn't it, it would be fine uh, I think it would be fun but I have to wait until after Sheriff Dance debuts because I want him to join <laughs> I think it would be fun to bully him at golf uh, golf with your friends I think it's really fun. And they have- I looked- I haven't played it in a long time, but it looks like they added a Worms 3 map and a- the Escapists course. Uh, sure. <laughs> and then also I think you can make custom maps, so there's a bunch out there now, and I haven't tried any of them, but I heard there's a really bad Undertale one and I want to play it. <laughs> I wanna- I wanna putt-putt with Sans Undertale. Yeah! Okay. I think- I think we can- we can get going with Jenny. Maybe. Maybe it's time. I don't know who's actually here, but whatever. Yeah! Because I think you can make custom courses, uh, and so people make, like, fun-themed ones. <laughs> Alright, so, last time, that we played Jenny LeClue. Uh, we went into crystal mines that were owned by Susie's parents, who might be in on this whole conspiracy, and we saw ghosts, and we think that our father might be alive, and we busted our mom and CJ out of jail, and it turns out mom knew everything already, and she might have actually killed the Dean as revenge because the Dean knew about how unsafe everything was for Mr. LeClue. Uh, but she doesn't believe us when we say that we think our dad is alive. So, that's where we are. Well, no. Right now, we just finished up all that stuff, and now we are back with Mr. Arthur of Arthur Tenfei. <laughs> uh, figuring out, uh, how he's doing. Because this is his first time writing a mystery that isn't, you know, finding a lost cat. Let's, let's check in on his mental state, okay? Let's see. Oh, let's zoom in. Uh, Arthur. What a wonderful surprise! Eileen just finished reading the most recent chapter. Learn to read? Are you making fun of how- how- Maybe she's busy, Arthur. Jeez. 
much better, old boy. Much better. It's really shaping up to be a great mystery. Just a few notes, nothing major, tiny tweaks. Liar. We need more. More intrigue, more danger. Crank it up a notch. It's a book, not a rock concert. I did a little creative writing back in my school days. Here's a suggestion. Oh no. Getting, getting suggestions from... Hmm. Let's see. What has he got? First he says focus on your own job. Uh, how about, bear with me here, another murder! This time a character the readers really can- No! Uh, someone close to Jenny, maybe even Jenny herself? Everyone thinks they can write. <laughs> After all, what's a great detective story without a few murders? Give us something huge and unexpected. Surprise yourself. Surprise us all. I'll leave the details to you, but Arthur, do make these changes or it's curtains for the book. All the best, Richard Inkwell. Hmm. I don't know how we feel about that. Oh, letter to Finkel fans. Uh, well, it's me again, Arthur K. Finkelstein. And here we are. Oh, let's see. Is it the same one as before? I think it is the same one as before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, never mind. We don't have to read this one. Um, we do have to start this, though. Let's see. Dad sent the messages. Keith, can he ever forgive her? Let's see, emergencies only. You had a map? Oh, these are all his notes. Mining accident, Zazer's machine, where's Widow's drop? Did she find them all? Ipsa, Scientia, Potestis Est. Huh? Edificare, Novae Mundi. Abordine. Libertas. Friend or foe. Good heart. Too nice. Secret lab. Glatz. How's it going, Shira Luffy? Let's see. Les Strawsberry. Glatz Corp. MIB? Henry Leclou. What was he working on? Who were the Council of Three? What is this? What is- is- I see a Z. This has something to do with Caesar. Let's see. CJ. Mom. Guilty? Giant metal door? Do it for Jenny. Make Rufus a dull dog. Aww. <laughs> Can I pick up anything else? I don't think so. I think that might be it for this look into Arthur's life. Kill someone else? I can't do it. Can I? Who would it be? Who would it be? I can't bear it. It's too much. First her father, and now her mother. How will the poor girl ever recover? All of this could have been avoided if I just stuck to my original formula. There must be a way to fix this. You're right, Rufus. I need some rest. Mm. These long writing sessions are starting to take their toll. Do you want... do you want a... a, a, a recap, Nathan? So, but Jenny's you missed Mondays? Was gone. Or was it Saturdays? On Monday, we... Oh, last Saturday? Uh... Saturdays, we... Found a big sphere that let us do anti-gravity stuff. That was when we first found out about, like, the number stations and the book, I believe. Um... And we went rowing around on a boat. And yeah, I don't think there was actually a ton missed for Saturday. It was just kind of between the original Monday stream and the next Monday stream, things just got deeper, I guess. More but confused than ever, Jenny had no choice but to make her way back through the sewer completely alone. Well, apart from the man coming to kill her, of course. Not helpful. Jenny! TJ! You gotta get out of here! Does he know? The Shadow Men are dangerous, and my boxing skills aren't what they used to be. You were right all along, CJ. About everything. You saw them? The little green men? Oh, I, I, I didn't see that. I, I saw ghosts. Okay, maybe not everything. It's never aliens. 
until it is. He's right. All strange phenomena around town? I've seen it too. Good. It's all connected, and my mom knows more than she's letting on. Yes, trust no one. Yeah. <laughs> yes, CJ. What did you before I arrived? She asked you to do something for her. What was it? What was it? I'll never tell. She swore me to secrecy. CJ. I'm I'm gonna trick him. Excellent. You passed the test. Did I? Mom told me you would never give her up. That's why she gave me the secret code. Widow's drop. Ah, so she told you as well. <laughs> yes. I just forgot. I feel bad tricking evil. him. What did she need us to do? Let's see. It was very important. Life or death. Find widow's drop. That was first. Mm -hmm. Look for the flowers. Use the key. Mm -hmm. Oh, wear the gloves. Very important. Gloves. It's a lot to fit in before sunrise. And where is Widow's Drop? Good question. I don't remember. Uh, that happened, CJ. It's Did okay. Give you a sense of which direction she was going. Um. Well, I'm north and you're south, and she must have been going. Um. It was no good. CJ's memory was jumbled at the best of times. Poor guy. Right now, Jenny needed to evade the man in black and get back to the room where her father was trapped. Stay safe, CJ. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, uh, yes. Goodbye, Jenny. Keep your eyes open. The truth is closer than you think. The truth is out there. Now, Mom went that way. Mm -hmm. Uh. But Jenny wouldn't be following her. Sorry, did my mom just... Mom? Damn. Oh, I want to go look at it. How did this happen? Who did this? Was it really my mom? Jenny Lip Hog? <laughs> Who was I watching the other day that... Maybe I saw it in the tweet. Somebody had like a client whose last name was like Poggerson or something. Great name. Absolutely love it. I guess I have to go back and I have to fight this this shadow man. I don't want to fight a shadow man. What if he's he's Mr. Cold? Mr. Cold wasn't mean at all. Let's see. Johnny Crapper. That's a good name. I had somebody. Oh, I had to deal with a customer once. Who had some video game character's name, but I forget whose. But it was like a video game character whose like name is like normal, so it's not like her name was like Tifa Lockhart or something. How's it going, Dark Souls Entertainment? We're playing Jenny LeClue. We are trying to find a man in black. Well, no, we're not trying to find him. We're trying to not die to him. Uh, I think Eris is such a pretty name, honestly. Like, I think if he will didn't know the video game context to it. Ares would be like a fine name. Uh oh that's convenient. What the hell is going on? Jenny, please hurry! He's coming! I'm going as fast as I can. Also, hi Mrs. LeClue! Oh, what? Mom isn't here. Oh no! What happened? Oh, I thought she was saying hi as in like she was seeing her. Jenny? Jenny, are you okay? Abandoned by her mother, hunted by a killer, covered in filthy water. Filthy. Jenny LeCrew was most uh -oh. certainly not okay. Stinky. Just let me focus on not getting brutally murdered. Dr. Benderson says it's always better to get things out in the open. Yeah, but it's not, it's not, now it's not the time. Like. You're breaking up. I can't hear you. Jenny. Come on, come on. <laughs> How are all of my interns today? Did you guys get enough rest last night? I slept a lot. And then I woke up and immediately checked in on my bears because that's what I do now. 
I love my bear game. No sleep. Slept too much. The path ahead was shrouded in darkness. I sure wish I still had my flashlight. Was Jenny ready for the next chapter of her adventure? Let's go. Let's... Uh-oh. We caused this. Maybe... Maybe I should have turned it off before I left. Oops. You had to give the SAT this morning? An unfamiliar feeling began to ferment in the back of Jenny's mind. Doubt. Why did her mother act so suspiciously? Where did she go in such a hurry? Jenny had expected answers, but now each step forward felt as if the ground were crumbling beneath her feet. Oh, speaking of typewriters, I recently followed a YouTube channel that just is a dude who collects and then documents uh, antique typewriters. It's really interesting. Uh, and then I saw that uh, back in the old days before, you know, printers and stuff. Jenny, are you okay? Oh, everything's super down here. Just wandering around in total darkness, trying not to get killed. Oh, well, if you need some light, there's one on your walkie-talkie. Oh. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? You said not to disturb you. That girl will be the death of But me. if I turn on my light now, the man in black will be able to see me before Jenny I see him. fumbled in the darkness until she found the switch on her walkie-talkie. Jenny well, stood good. perilously close to the edge of a deep pit. If Susie hadn't interrupted her when she did... Dark. I'm going to have to jump to that minecart. That minecart doesn't look any more even if Jenny stable. Made it, <laughs> she couldn't be sure it would support her weight. If it was going to fall, it would have done it by now. Let's jump to certain death. See? Steady as a rock. Hey. Jump again. Okay. Good job. Good job. That's enough near-death experiences for one day. Uh, but I saw that there's like a music sheet typewriter basically. Tunnel 13. Unlucky for some. Which makes sense. It's very cool looking. Typewriters are fun. I like the sound that they make. Uh, but I don't like that you can't erase your mistakes. You have to like get that written correctly in one go. So not for me. <laughs> Wait, why are you guys doing a s- Jeez. Jenny shivered as she realized the true scale of the tragedy that had befallen the miners. I'm standing in the world's biggest tomb. I don't- I- No, Jenny. There are tombs far larger than this, but- if none of the miners got out, how am I supposed to? Fortunately, Jenny had Susie Glatz. Of course I'm gonna help get help. That's Susie, important. Susie, come in! Thank goodness! I was worried you dropped your walkie-talkie. The line just went dead. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway... I need... Her mouth went dry. Jenny? I need your... How could one word be so difficult to say? I need your help. Jenny felt a wave of nausea as the words left her mouth. So melodramatic. Susie, are you there? It would be an honor to assist you in Aww, any way I can, Susie. Jenny LeClue. I'm in Tunnel 13. I've reached a dead end. I need you to find me another way out. Of course. Just give me a moment. Found it! You're close to the extraction chamber, where they transfer crystals to the surface for processing. Susie is too good There's for Jenny. There's bound to be an exit there, but it's a long way up. You're going to have to climb. 
Oh. Well. No problem. Oh, and Susie. Thanks. Extraction chamber. This is definitely it. Yep. But did I miss a sticker? <laughs> hmm? Where? Where is it? Wait, but where is it? <laughs> oh, that's way over there. Oh, but I can't go over there. That's a... How did this get here? Who made this sticker? And who put it here? Oh well, thanks for the sticker, lads. <laughs> An edge? It does, <laughs> it does kind of look like a Hot Topic sticker. I just want to make sure that there's not... What does this do? It's stuck. Oh. Well... Never mind then, I suppose. That looks like a nice edge that I could probably jump to. Is there anything else? No, that's right, that's a cliff. Is somebody using... Lawnmower? But there's nothing but sidewalk! I'm just- I'm gonna take a peek. Give me one sec. I couldn't see what it was, but how annoying. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Oh, I, oops. It's okay. I'm incredibly powerful and cool. Just looking for ghosts. Oh, if it comes over here. It better not. I'll kick its butt. Actually, I wonder if I could like... No, I don't think my apartment complex is in charge of like the maintenance of the bushes in front of my windows. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could get like a warning for like when they're gonna do. It looks like it might still work. That'd be nice. Well, now it's never gonna work. I was better off in the dark. That was satisfying. But what did it do? That's a great question. It's a pulley of some kind. The rope must be attached to something nearby. Let's see. Ah, 
I haven't played inside. I heard it's really good. Uh, I guess not. How did I get up here? Oh, that's right. That's true, I do play inside every day. But I mean, it's fine. Inside does look really good. I have Limbo. There we go. frustrated with how many times I die, but I'm aware that that's a that's a me problem and not the fault of the game. Someday, someday I'll beat Limbo, maybe. Oh, I think I saw somebody somebody showed me part of inside, the part with the the water. I don't like that. That freaks me out. <laughs> I sure hope that we do not get murdered by some dude. How's it going, sir? The sun sure has been out a lot more, and there's no AC in my office because I'm the only one there. Real warm. It's annoying. <laughs> the ghost wanna yeah! Ghost racing. The game has gone a lot of places. Uh, actually, I guess since there's more people here I can give another uh, update. So, you know, game starts, we're doing fun mystery stuff. But now, you know, we've found... Oh yeah, I have a fan. Uh, it's really loud, but it's a fan. I'm sure if I was just like, hey, can you get me another fan? They would. But I don't know. I'm not one to complain if I have something that works. <laughs> uh, but let's see. Jenny's being chased by a shadow man. Uh, who works with the shafts of moonlight shone through cracks in the ceiling. The extraction chamber. Danger. Benny, you could have that could have been you. I was too close. I better get moving. Shards of moonlight. Uh but upon investigating What were we investigating? Oh yeah, to get my mom out of prison. Uh, we were following a bunch of clues from the Man in Black, which included like finding a bunch of weird spheres with number stations that coincided with a children's book that had messages, and then there was an even deeper code outside of that. And then also Jenny found like a big door, and she thinks her dad might be alive behind it. Uh, and then Jenny broke. The, it, it looked like there was a big conspiracy around. Uh, Jenny's dad's death and also the death of all these miners because it was like a test to see like the power of like these activated quartz or whatever um and it turns out that when Jenny got her mom out of jail Jenny's mom knew all of this except for the part where she thinks that her dad might still be alive but Jenny's mom says that the dad couldn't be alive and tells her she's an idiot basically and then ran off but it looks like maybe maybe Jenny's mom did kill Dean Strawberry on purpose. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
Oh wait, I need to check and make sure that there isn't, like... Hello, Mr. Ghost. You got stickers for me down here? Never mind. I I I don't I, I I I don't care about stickers. I need to go. I need to get out of here. No 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 no. <laughs> the man in black. Run. I need to find somewhere to hide and fast. Uh, hide, hide, hide. Where do you want to hide? No way out. Too risky. Can't reach. Too exposed. Okay. So I know where I gotta go. Out of sight, covered on all sides. The minecart was an ideal hiding place. All right, let's get up there. Sorry, Mr. Ghost. I'm I'm busy. I can't hang out and find stickers. I'm trying to not get murdered. of the minecart. She was confident the man in black wouldn't spot her, but she'd need to remain perfectly still. Even the slightest sound could give her away. Gotta be careful. Drop on him. <laughs> I don't think I can control that. Plus, I think Jenny would get very hurt. Almost in the clear. Just a few more seconds of absolute silence. Jenny! Oh no. I just wanted to say, I think we had a really good breakthrough just now. Oh my god. Susie, I love you, but... Shut up, shut up, shut up! I can feel our friendship growing. I know it's a silly thing to say, but... Is he? My luck is starting to run out. It won't be long before he reaches the jail and realizes my mom isn't there. And something told her he wouldn't be very pleased. <sighs> Let's just call her back, just in case she has Are any. Are you trying to get me killed? Intel. Sorry, I just wanted to let you know I'm here for you whenever you need me. That's very nice, Susie. But none of that matters if I'm dead. Don't call me. I'll call you. Okay. Now I can escape. Now I should be safe. What? Examine That's rock pile. That's one big pile of rocks. They must weigh a ton each. Okay. <laughs> I can see a light up there. But the ladder was out of reach. Okay, what, huh? Wait, why can I go over here? Fragments of quartz crystal littered the room. They're beautiful. She held one in her hands. It'd be a good souvenir if it wasn't so heavy. Rocks are very heavy. Ooh. Have you guys ever gone to like crystal shows, rock shows? Just look at big rocks? Okay. Sick. Thank you, thank you. Crystal shows are really cool. Like even if you can't like afford stuff, uh, I think it's worth going to because you can just look at them. I keep trying to get light matter to work. Structurally unsound, just like everything else around here. There are two minecarts attached together by a system of pulleys. After all these tremors, I'm amazed they're still hanging up there. Like a well-oiled machine, Jenny LeClue's brilliant mind kicked into gear. 
A plan had started to form. Uh, How can I reach the ladder? Uh, crystals. Barrel minecart? Question mark? No. That doesn't quite add up. Let me no. give this some more thought. Uh, crystals. Eric? I can stand on the minecart <sighs> to reach the ladder. But first, I need to get it down. And I know exactly how to do it. Mm. The minecart is connected to a pulley. When I jumped inside, it lowered, but it didn't reach the floor. First, I'll climb to the top of the rickety scaffolding. Then, I'll jump in the minecart with my pockets full of crystals. The extra weight will carry me all the way to the floor. Very smart, Jenny. At the bottom, I'll climb out and push the minecart underneath the ladder. Finally, I'll use the added height to reach the ladder. Then it's a straight shot to freedom. We don't really have, like, county fairs up here, which I think is a shame because I've seen so many pictures of American ones and they look so fun. Uh, but there is this thing called the rodeo where Canadians dress up as, like, cowboys and party. Another cave-in. Another dead end. But there isn't really, like, actual rodeos there. Which is also a shame. It should be an, an all-in-one thing. He might be the killer. We don't know what he is. Uh, but we do know that we're scared of him. <laughs> we do know that we, we'd rather not die. The shattered skull of a long-deceased Maya ah. looked up at Jenny. Poor guy. Oh. Let's see. April 3rd... Something something something. Dear Clara, I write this letter knowing you will never read it. Everyone is dead. I will be next. My wound is infected. The smell attracts the rats and I have lost the energy to keep them at bay. The men in suits will tell you this was our fault. We disobeyed orders and didn't follow safety procedures. You won't believe them. You will fight for the truth. But you will never know the truth, and that pains me the most. They left us here to die, but their great plan for Arthurton will be its downfall. I am sorry to leave you, my dear. Affectionately, Samuel. Jeez. That was somebody's dad. He was still alive and no one came to help him. He never got to say goodbye. Jenny knew exactly how that felt. The Council of Three blamed the workers to protect their secret. Jenny folded up the letter and placed it in her pocket. I'll oh, find your family, wild. Samuel, and deliver it to them personally. And I won't rest until the whole town knows the truth. Wild sounds a little bit dangerous. Actually, have you have you guys ever done like the been on an electric wall? They're fun. I love a challenge. <laughs> Can I pick these up too? All right, I think it's time to jump. Hmm. Maybe Did I, not I need get more crystals. Oh. What do you mean there's such a me thing to be into? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? I can't fit any more crystals in my pockets. Hopefully this will be enough. Okay. Ooh. All right, get up there, Jenny. Ooh. That could be fun, though I have seen people, uh, first time mechanical bull riders, uh, wipe out real bad 
So I think if they were offering 500, they might have had it at a really high setting. So it might be for the best. You don't want to break your wrists or anything. Why didn't that work? Something's holding me back. <laughs> I just like saying yeehaw. There's nothing yeehaw about <laughs> my life. I just think it's fun. I am appropriating cowboy culture. <laughs> Where's the cool secret? Uh, I think they would found that there is a power that you can get from the crystals, but we aren't quite sure what it does or how it does it. Pull that break, pull that break. Jenny? I suppose that's one way to go. Jenny opened her eyes and rubbed her aching head. Ugh, how long was I out for? Things hadn't quite gone according to plan. They Guess absolutely my calculations had not. were slightly off. Fortunately, Jenny found herself in a familiar place. This is the tunnel where I first came in. Unfortunately, someone else had heard the commotion. Uh-oh. Go back, go back, there's nothing for you here. Time we need to, to go. Run. We need to run. It's okay, he, he won't be able to crawl through here because he's too large. He's too, too large. Time to time to find my dad. Here goes nothing. Dad, what if he's there? Ooh. Welcome back, S32. Access level Z Alpha granted. Disarming blast door 13A. For your safety, please stand clear. Jenny paused. She was finally here. Could it be true? Was her father really on the other side of this door? The man she'd lost forever. She would have given anything to bring him back. What would she say to him? How would she it feel when level. she yeah. saw him? <laughs> Of all the puzzles she'd solved, every obstacle she'd climbed, and every leap of faith she'd made, this was the scariest moment of all. Mom should be here. She needed her. She needed someone. Maybe even Susie. I'm not going to solve anything by just standing here. Arthurton had slowly revealed its secrets to Jenny, and now she faced the final chapter. Well, the narrator is the, the guy who's actually physically writing this story. Gathering her courage, she took a deep breath. This is it, Jenny. And stepped into the darkness once more. What will we find? What if this is a screamer? <laughs> I'm glad it's not, but...
It could have been. Dad? Oh, that's spooky. Her voice echoed in the darkness. No, no I'm sorry. <laughs> is hmm what are all these books of <laughs> man please put me put make me an scp don't actually do that bad idea i don't want to run because i don't want to miss anything but it is very spooky down here Another one of these! What if this is the final one? What is this strange? Oh, those are just wires. Okay. Another dead end. Of course he's not here. Just another machine. With another message. Oh, this is new. Let's see. Arthurton. A small town seemingly like any other. Nestled in a valley between two mountains. Lined by lustrous forests and perched on the edge of a pristine lake. Yes, Arthurton had it all. A main street with shops and a place to sip coffee. Schools, a college, a church, this and the police station. The opening. The kind of place you might find anywhere on your travels. But you won't find it anymore. For Arthurton is now the town that disappeared. Hello? Where once stood a city bustling with life. Hey, Daka, how's it going? Eyes and empty. How could a town suddenly and completely vanish from the face of the earth? And if it could happen to Arthurton, could it happen to your town too? What? You have a funny for me. One, one sec, sorry. <laughs> Church attendance is at a record high. Huh? Is this a sign of the end of days? What kind of rocks the is the best for banishing people? To answer the question. Mm. What happened to Arthurton? Daka! <laughs> Daka! <laughs> what, what did happen? I, I'm in Arthurton. The Arthur investigation starts now. Is this going to be a cover-up? Jenny stared at the screen, astonished. Arthurton disappeared? It didn't make any sense. But of all the strange things she'd seen, one stood out more That's than true, the others. That's true, nothing in life is free. There was something at the end of the tape. Oh. End of days. And then report. There. I didn't see it. Hidden in the static. Oh. oh. I see. Now we mess with the filters. Let's see. Frequency. Oh. Zazer. Find Zazer. Need help. Yeah, Dad look Dad does look like a dork. I think Arthurton has that symbol just because he named it after himself. I His name is Arthur. <laughs> let's let's run. What if you run to the main black though? 
I can't believe there were no stickers here. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh. oh, that's true, he was a chemistry teacher. Are you okay, Jenny? Oh, no, no, no. Stay away from me. I know what you've done. I'm not scared of you. You creep. I, I don't think insulting somebody is gonna do any good. It is sister X. Backed into a corner with nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Was this the end for Jenny LeClue? Did he just get hit in the head with a rock? I mean, is he okay? He's gonna get... friends are here. My friends who I am terrible to. Susie? Keith! You came back! I had to! Jenny choked back her tears. She had lost count of the number of times she'd almost died today. And it was starting to take its toll. Poor Jenny. Let's get out of here before he wakes up! No, wait, Keith! He's you have to see who it is. We have to see who it is. We should really go. This could be our only chance to find out who he is. Let's just we can just take off the hat. It won't matter if we're buried alive. Right, she's Don't you correct. want to know? It doesn't matter. What? Look. Hello? Damn it. How? Where? Let's go. It doesn't matter who said what. Let's go already. Let's run. We must run. Children. Where did he go? Our three intrepid adventurers made their escape across the graveyard on the far side of town. Behind the twin peaks of Arthurton, the sun began to rise. But this night. Had not <laughs> Michael yet Myers ended. powers. Yeah. Beneath them, the ground shook and grumbled. Deep in the bowels of Arthurton, something stirred. Yeah. Jenny recounted the thrilling story of her entire adventure. She told Susie and Keith about Professor Zazer and his experiments, the truth behind the tragic accident in the mines, bike. and how she discovered that her father was alive. But she left out one critical detail, the town that disappeared. Yeah. Well, I mean, how is she supposed to explain that? How would they react Is her father to such in a different dimension? Revelation? Would they even believe her? She wasn't sure she believed it herself. What an incredible adventure! Although, I think the greatest discovery today has been our friendship. Yay. Susie's you so never sweet. Stop, do you? All these Look. trials have really brought us together. Yeah. And now that you and Keith are friends again, we can form our very own mystery solving club. That sounds great. Keith, Keith. Keith is still mourning. Maybe we should push the brakes on that. It's just a shame we didn't unmask the man in black. So what's our next step, fearless leader? There's something about this case that still doesn't add up. I need to find my mom before the cops do. But she could be anywhere. That's true, she could. No, she's gone to Widow's Drop. I don't know where that is. Where? Widow's Drop. But I have no idea where that is. It's certainly not on any map I've seen. Well, it, the mystery is also who killed Keith's dad. Uh, and also that Susie's dad is complicit in the deaths of many people. 
So, I mean, technically, she it's fine. I think it's fine for her to be interested in the mystery. That's because it's not a place. What? Yeah. What? It's a plant. My dad has had... Uh, he grew one in his greenhouse. Ooh. He had to separate it from all the other plants. They all started to shrivel up. Hey? Have you ever felt a flash of pure inspiration? The sudden feeling of everything falling into place. It's the moment a great detective lives for. An epiphany! What well, was her epiphany? Keith, what day do you take out the trash? What? What day does the garbage man come? Uh, oh, um, Friday? Why? Of course! It was right there the whole time! Jenny! You gotta, you gotta explain yourself to your friends. I know where my mom is! Jenny! And I know who killed Dean Strasberry. Jenny! Look out! Jenny, you gotta keep your eyes on the road while you're having your epiphanies. Watch out! Oh, well, never mind. She's fine. We survived. We sure did. Yeah, we made it. Is he having a back. brain blast? <laughs> go back. Go back to where? But we just got out. A little birdie told me I'd find three unruly kids out after curfew. Oh no! Get back on the bike and run. What are, you, what are you waiting for? Stealing, breaking and entering, destruction of property. Mm. You're all in a heap of trouble. For reference, this is Jenny's grandfather. Uh, and he's also the sheriff of the town. Jenny, can't say I'm surprised to find you here. Shut up, Grandpa. But Keith, Susie, I expected more from you. Shut up. I'm ruined. No, you're fine. Sheriff, this is Station. Are you there? Go ahead, Station. Susie, Keith, I need you to create a distraction. What? There's no time to explain. Where are you going? You'll just have to trust me. Okay. No. Jenny, where are you going? Jenny, where are you going? Susie, please. No, not unless you say it. Say what? After everything we've been through, you know it's true. What are you talking about? Now is hardly the time for this. For what? You what told are... me to stand up for myself. So that's what I'm doing. Mm, she's, she's Hold right. on a second. Enough chatter. Get your sorry butts over here now. We depend on each other. Admit it, Jenny. Yeah. Say thank on, you Jenny. properly. It's not a big deal. Just this say... is your last warning. I am not going to tell you again. I want to pick up this guy. Just like in my fist just like grab through the screen and like shake him but of all I can't. the challenges our <laughs> tiny hero had faced this was perhaps her toughest you aren't alone jenny leclue we don't need to pretend anymore as hard as it was to say it jenny knew deep in her heart it was true uh isn't it so you can see it in your rear view mirror like ambulance when it's written backwards? Is that it? Fine. Or maybe they just flipped the model for this scene. <laughs> Susie Klatz, you are my friend. Oh, Thank Susie's you, so happy. Friend. And I mean, of course Susie wants Jenny to call her her friend. Susie has told Jenny, like, her greatest secret, so like... Yeah. Now, let's get you out of here! Yeah, I've got him. Safe and sound. I'm bringing him in now. What the... Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, you... Mr. LeClue. You might catch him. Do you have them or not? I thought I did. Where did she go? None of your business, sir. <sighs> so 
All right, we got another achievement. That means you have to take a drink of water because we're being responsible. What? Jenny, what are you- Jenny, no, 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 no. Jenny? Jenny, please put him back. Jenny? <gasps> Julie! Ju Julie? It is the reanimator. <laughs> to hear your voice. I was having the strangest dreams. Dean! What's wrong? I almost didn't make it. But you did. Now, we've got a lot of work to do. Maybe... Maybe he isn't the reason why my dad died, and that's why my mom brought him back? Called out, called out. Yes. Jenny? Jenny? Surprised to see me? I am only a child after all. What is she? How did you? It was really quite simple. Once I realized Mr. Strasbury knew he was going to die. Oh my God. What proves the Dean knew he was going to die? Friday and garbage day because Jenny seemed to really care about garbage day. Why would the Dean take out the trash two days early? Oh my god. And why would he cancel all his meetings on Friday? Unless he knew he wasn't going to be there. This was the key piece of information I needed. Once I considered the possibility that Mr. Strasbury knew he was going to die on Thursday, everything started to fall into place. But consider this. If someone knew they were going to die, wouldn't they do everything in their power to escape their fate? And yet, the Dean didn't. There was only one explanation. He staged his own death. Staged? Uh... Let's see. The flora, definitely part of it. And, uh... The, the clippings? I think, I think that's it. It's no secret that the Dean is an avid gardener. But some people might not know he authored a book about exotic plants and their natural remedies. You knew how you were going to die, Mr. Strasbury. Poison. You knew because you made it yourself from one of your plants. A poison that you had an antidote for. That would be the method, but you couldn't work alone. You needed an accomplice. Someone to revive you when the time was right. What proves Mom and the Dean are working together? Uh... What proves that Mom and the Dean are working together? Definitely not that. Also not this. I'm gonna assume it's this. And... The fact that Mom really needed to get to Widow's Point. 
Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah, Jenny really messed up their plans. In the basement of my house, on my dad's old dusty desk, I found a recently used vial. The residue was purple, the same color as the marks on the Dean's neck. In the jail, Mom knew she was running out of time. So she entrusted CJ to finish what she had started. Hmm. To revive the Dean. I feel like you can't slumber. trust CJ with something that has to do with you know, a uh, uh, a needle, <laughs> perhaps. You plotted together to stage Mr. Strasbury's death. It was a simple scheme. Poison him with the plant, then return after the funeral to revive him. You had intended the death to appear natural, but not everything went according to plan. What went wrong with their plan? Uh, the the electricity was an issue because I think that's what caused him to like fall and die. And we're gonna put the ring there because that was one of the things that was stuck. Or wait, no, maybe we want Jenny's mom. No, we want the ring. Oh, let's let's try this one first. Yeah. After the poison was administered, the Dean intended to give Mom his ring. But he accidentally dropped it, and he got stuck in the electrified track of the ladder. When he bent down to retrieve it, he was electrocuted and thrown from the balcony. Man, what a Earlier, the intense Dean had told electrocution. Earlier, Mom in the library. Hmm. That was a mistake. If I hadn't gone there to find Mom, she might still have escaped before the police arrived. Mm. Getting caught hadn't been part of the plan. <laughs> Quite remarkable, Jenny. And Thank you, you Santa. Out all that by yourself? No, I had the help of my wonderful friends. Yes, that's how you did it. But the real question is why. Well, that's all a bit more complicated, I'm afraid. Well, I've got all night, Grandpa. It was a rhetorical question, Mr. Strasbury. Yeah. I know why you're working together. But first, I have to tell you about aliens. Uh. Huh? Wait. Sorry, is there a phone? Oh, no, this is Arthur. <laughs> We're going back to, to our friend Arthur. I wonder what's on his desk now. Oh, this is exciting. What an incredible adventure this turned out to be. Yeah. Jenny's growing up and discovering her full potential. Mm -hmm. And to think, I did it all without anybody dying. True. Well... No, he's still got it. Uh-oh. Hello? Richard! Oh, what do you think of the new scenes? Aren't they wonderful? I beg your pardon? Trick you? Certainly not. Oh, he's angry because nobody died. But don't you see? It all works out perfectly this way. I can already picture where the next book will start. You're not serious. But... I didn't promise anything. But... Uh-oh. There must be another way. Just give me more time. Cancelled! <gasps> Arthur caught saying a heated gamer word. <laughs> He's Richard, being cancelled. Richard? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. They hung up on him. It's no good. They won't publish it unless someone dies. But I can't do it. I just Isn't can't. It? I'm just saying that Arthur not only pulled off a cool revival trick, but we have a man who is in another dimension who we think is dead, who we can bring back now. Like, I'm just saying. That's more interesting, in my opinion. Come on, come on. Come on, Arthur. Jenny's whole world hangs in the balance. Decades of work, it can't all end now. Oh. I have to. It's like Jenny's mom always says. 
Samuel's dead. Who's Samuel? Oh yeah, that's true. The miners are all dead. A great detective knows the right decision is often the hardest to make. Oh, poor Arthur. And I am a great author of detective stories. Mm. But I can't pick. What should I do, Rufus? Rufus not care. Brilliant! Yes! You're always right, old friend. I'll let fate decide. <gasps> oh! Here goes. I wonder who it's gonna be. Oh my god. choose personally i think obviously jenny would make the most shocking but then you wouldn't have a sequel obviously he wants to have more than one book so jenny's mom would be heartbreaking but jenny's gonna get her dad out of another dimension maybe and then you have dean straussberry who just came back from the dead i feel like it would be rude to kill him off again but Hmm. And I feel like Jenny's friend has gone through enough, hasn't he? Remember the first lines of the book? I don't remember the first lines of the book. And they won't let me read them. Hmm. Can I just circle who dies? <laughs> uh... Oh, that's true. The first lines of the book. Jenny LeClue was dead. But she came back. Dean Strasberry also came back from the dead. I'm so torn. Yeah, like, is it going to be more traumatizing for Dean Strasberry to come back for Keith? Or... Because he's just going to have to go through his dad's death again in the future. Yeah, I think it has to be the mom. I'm sorry, Julie. Like, I truly love you as a character, even though you're kind of a bad mom. This is just going to create the best impact sales-wise. Plus, it'll be interesting because Jenny will technically get a parent back, I think, if she's able to rescue her dad from the other dimension, where Arthur Chin is gone. She does know too much. That's true. She does know far too much. Who's going to kill her, though? Who is the man in black? Well, I think we have decided, in turns, who we must kill. Fate has spoken, but is she certain? Once the choice is made, there's no turning back. Can I choose multiple? What if I choose all of them? That's what we're going with. Oh, don't give me an achievement for that. Don't give me an well, achievement for that. That was easier than I thought. Was it? It's the only way this scene can end. The ending the book deserves. Oh, hey, Snoople. How's it going? No worries. It is A-OK -okay to be late. As long as you get your paperwork in, we're fine. <clears throat> as I was saying... Oh, you're just gonna kill her right now? You're just gonna. <sighs> what was that? No more interruptions. Jenny, no, 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 no. We need to move to safety first. Jenny. The tremors were getting more violent and more frequent. Please, I'm in the middle of my astonishing denouement. Everyone in town thinks CJ is crazy, a madman spouting wild theories about aliens and hidden forces at work in Arthurton. Oh, but he's right but about the ladder. All the strange phenomena he's seen are real. And the culprits are men, not monsters. Hmm. What do I know about Arthurton's secret history? Well, first we got- yeah, we know that you guys killed this dude. Uh, 
good there. Don't care about that. Yeah, we're definitely doing this one. There is multi-dimensional travel, yeah. Arthurton is built on top of some kind of energy source. Something special. I uncovered the secret laboratories of Professor Zazer. He ran experiments to study the unique properties of Arthurton's resource. And his research was funded by a shady organization called the Council of Three. Mm -hmm. One of the experiments went tragically wrong and caused the collapse of the quartz mines. Yep. They covered it up and blamed the miners. And yet the experiments didn't stop. Instead, they built an even bigger facility. Years after the accident of the mines, an even greater tragedy struck Arthurton. Only this time, the townspeople didn't know. I don't fully understand it, but something happened to the whole town. Uh-oh. And wherever we were, we aren't there anymore. What the if the rest the... of the world think we disappeared? Was At she first, being literal when she said there's no world mysteries. outside of Arthurton? But then it hit me like a ton of used books. The two were inextricably linked. And that's how I know your motive for staging the Dean's death. Why did Mom and Dean Strasberry stage the Dean's death? Uh, the report? Absolutely. Uh, and because of my dad. Jenny, you're so smart. The university. He was working on Zazer's machines. All under the watchful eye of the Council of Three. The Dean is part of the Council of Three. Or at least he works for them. Uh-oh, called out. Through her own investigation, Mom concluded that Dad had died under suspicious circumstances. She confronted the Dean. Racked with guilt, he confessed and begged for her forgiveness. Instead Ew. of letting anger cloud her judgment, Mom saw an opportunity. And together, you concocted a plan to bring down the organization from the inside. Oh, what a brilliant mind you have, Jenny oh, another. Julie, I believe you underestimated this girl. You could have gotten yourself killed. Yeah, and? But I didn't. Yeah. But what if you had? I'm not a kid anymore. I have to make my own choices. A flower cannot blossom without light. True. Jenny had risked everything to save her mom. I... I'm sorry, Jenny. Yeah, you should have just been... Well, we're gonna be nice to our mom, because she, she was worried about us. It's okay, mom. She's already lost her husband. You were running out of time to save Mr. Strasbury. I was trying to protect you. I know. I should have trusted you. But you were wrong. Huh? I just apologized. No, not about that. Oh, okay. Everyone presumed Dad died in a lab explosion. Jenny Le Short. So did I, until today. But then, I started finding secret messages all over town. They led me to a secret room under the graveyard. And there, on a small television, I saw him. Henry? Dad is alive! But he's trapped on the other side, and he's been trying to contact us this whole time. Jenny, a single parent. <laughs> he made it back? Then the experiment worked! Yes. Exactly! But if he made it back, that means... We can all get back! Get back? But there's... Wait. Is the Arthur Chin where there's nothing? The real world? We need to get to the machine. Right away. No. First, we need to find Professor Zazer. Do I get 
any information? Can I can I get some some information on this, please? Uh, I hmm. let's do emergency release too. I think maybe that might be a good idea. What's behind door number two? Uh oh. It's true, it do be green. <laughs> Hello? What did I do? What have I done? Oh, wait. Can you imagine? <laughs> True. A control credits. Oh yeah. Please have more game. Please just be lying to me. <gasps> Doggy. When when is the next Kickstarter? Hello. When is the next Kickstarter? I'm sorry, I'm gonna- let me just- can I- I'm gonna google something. Uh... I want... game. I need to solve this mystery! There's so- I have so many questions! Let's see. Equal. Is it in the works? At least tell me it's in the works, please? When is the next Journey to the Clue game? Journey to the Clue Chapter 2 release date. It has no information for me. Detective 2, it has to be Detective 2. Let's see, let's look at the let's look at the Kickstarter. Let's look at the the Kickstarter information. So this game was originally funded in uh oh it doesn't say on mobile, but let's see. They just posted an update July of last year. Something about physical rewards, I don't care about that. Um What happens if I click continue? Does it continue? Does it continue from? Oh, no, it's just going to give me the credits again. Ah! It's not fair. I, I want more.
I want the rest of the story. Arthur, despite being, you know, uh, the case of the missing peanut butter and jelly sandwich kind of writer, has crafted a fantastic story for us here, and I must know the ending. <laughs> I'm gonna at the devs on Twitter and be like, please, me and my, my 14 viewers, we have to know what happens. Please release game. Here's money. <laughs> I want, I want the rest. I guess they still have like a handful of people that they're sending physical Kickstarter rewards to, but I think I will definitely be keeping an eye on these devs because if they end up kickstarting, <laughs> if they end up kickstarting part two, I will throw so much money at them because honestly, like I was suggested this game and bought it because haha -ha Jenny and the fact that it turned out to be a very charming, very compelling adventure game is amazing. Like, it's a good game. Yeah, like, especially if it's like a smaller project, I understand being episodic because like, you kind of want to test the waters and see if people would be willing to buy like the rest of it. And they definitely, again, playing through it, have a fantastic hook. So I would buy the second one. Um, but I don't think like a big budget dev teams should be doing episodic stuff, aka Final Fantasy VII Remake. I think that's kind of rude. <laughs> uh, but considering how good these were, uh, I definitely want to upload the VODs to YouTube like immediately just so people can watch it. I want more people to see this game. I might just give away copies of this because <laughs> I want to generate interest in this. I want more. and. Yeah. Well, let's see. I still have like an hour and a half of game time. I don't know what to play. What have I downloaded recently? Let me let me take a gander. <laughs> oh, it stopped while I didn't look at it. Okay, come back. Come back. Oop. I've already done my berries for the day, but I think I did cook some stuff so I can check in on them. Oh, hey, how's it going, Gopher? Oh, <laughs> don't give me an achievement for that. Don't give me an achievement for that. Darn. Well, I guess we can check in on- we'll, we'll look at the bears. I'll introduce you to- to, um, Goathorn Bear. But I won't have any fun plot for them, I don't think. Except for me gathering my foods to sell for big money. Because I love to do that. I'm trying to save up so I can get 200,000 coins so I can upgrade the shop so that I can then buy cocoa beans so that I can start making chocolates. Oh, and then I realized I learned, I guess I didn't see him last week, but this week I learned that there's a red panda bear that comes by on Wednesdays and sells rare items, but specifically eggs. He loves to send eggs or sell eggs, which more power to him. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. And let's make it a good- hey! Will you chill out? We will look at the bears. You can see my, my minimal decorating because... I don't really understand how the game wants me to decorate. Can you see my mouse? No, okay. Uh. It feels like they definitely want me to decorate, but you can't move any of the trees or existing decorations around the town. So it's like, I want things to match, but I have like trees that specifically want like spooky decorations, but I don't have any like areas that really match that. Everybody's got like, you know, a farm, a cozy camp area, a little, you know, town square. When do I get goth bear? Because I feel like there has to be a goth bear for me to match all these two. Hopefully? Hopefully? It'd be nice. Goth bear. Goth bear's good. Maybe maybe after I pick up my food in this and show you guys all my bears, I can show you the bear I have in Super Animal Royale and everybody can watch me be bad at a video game. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh yeah, I turned down the music a ton in this. Let me turn it back up. It's because whenever I play this, I'm also like watching other stuff. So I I tend not to don't want to be able to hear it. Okay. Oh, my bread should be- oh, wait, actually, hold on. If I can do this right now, if I can get this- this iron. Are you iron? No, you're silver! I don't want you! I want iron! If I can get this iron, then that means that I can actually do a- a, a quest thingy. Which I would like to do. Are you iron? Yes! Okay. Hello, flamey. I want to burn stuff today. Please give me iron. Oh yeah. Let's see. Uh, cozy grove. And I'm just gonna make the title bears. Bears. Oh, have a good one, Trey. Okay. So. Oh, sick. Give me them coins. Thank you. I'll take it. Okay. Let's go talk to Corn Bear. Hello, Mr. Corn Cob. Mr. Bear. Oh, yes. Those are some truly cherished and useful memories. Give them over. This pro shovel may not be as strong or tough as the master I'm giving you, but it'll still be great for shoveling my stuff around. I've got to create new piles every week or so, you know, to prevent the old piles of stuff from toppling over. Anyway, enjoy digging up things with your new shovel. I'll be hanging around here with my stuff. Okay. He's corn. Thank you, sir. Now make your farm look cute. Yay! He sure does, for real, have a lot of piles of things, and I get lost and stuck in them a lot. I think he should organize his area. <laughs> oh, here's where all my flowers are. So you can like harvest flowers. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the the thumbnails are all uh oops. By Junkworks on Twitter, because she did my model and I was like, well, it, it only makes sense for me to look like me, but I kind of want to commission some other people, but also I'm terrified of commissioning people. <laughs> I'm very bad at it, and I always feel like I'm gonna, I don't know, give bad instructions. But I want- I like having funny thumbnails. When when people's thumbnails are just like a picture of their model, I think it's a little bit boring. But at the same time, making a unique thumb thumbnail for every video, that's a lot. That's a lot of art. <laughs> All right, let's 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 feed. Well, okay. So we learned so far that this bear. I've been like collecting uh, scout handbook pages for her, and she thought she was like fixing my scout handbook, but actually it was her scout handbook from when she was alive. Uh, she is dead, and she died on this island trying to get her spirit scout badges. So. Rip to her, but I'm different. <laughs> uh, hello, Mr. Bear. Can I have my food? Please. Perfect. Alright. Everybody knows Male Bear. He is uh, the bear of mail. And then up here we have the old mayor. Hey. Mayor. Yeah. This is the mayor. Uh, they keep asking me to go get some coffee, and it's very frustrating. It sure does feel like back when people were actually at my day job. Hmm. Anyways. <laughs> uh, this bear has realized that uh, she isn't a tree, and in life that she was actually a sculptor, and that's why she has become a tree in the afterlife, is because she, you know, was destroying trees to make sculptures. Which is... I mean, can you really be mad at her for that? And over here is my new bear. He is very chill. You can see his nice horns. Uh, I guess he used to be a photographer, and he's very forgetful. 
and basically all my quests for him so far. Is that a whoopee cushion? Sir! Sir! <laughs> Uh, but all of my quests so far have been trying to find uh, photographs for him so that he can remember stuff. Or just other photos that he's taken. Let's see. What was I doing? Oh yeah. First I'm gonna feed my bird, and then I'm gonna go donate stuff, and then I'll be done. Because that's all I do- well no, I gotta- oh yeah, and I don't know if I've shown off Bakery Bear. But she sure is a baker. Oh yeah, what can I do with my new- my new shovel. Edo. Okay. Yeah, I bake all sorts of stuff with this lady. Uh, it will turn out fine bakery, which is a great bakery name. <laughs> You're gonna be a, <laughs> a monster in the afterlife? Well, I think- I wonder if it's because trees are living things? So you might be safe from the monster energy drink transformation, <laughs> considering that they aren't living. Oh, that's right, I wanted to make this. Didn't I already make this? Let's make it. I'll just pick it up later. Thank you. Okay. Let's go feed my bird. Hello bird. I made you some bread. I'm gonna throw it at you, because that's how you like it apparently. I can't just hand you bread, you weirdo. Bird loves it. Pardon me. Let's see. Good bird. Now bird will give me bird essence and eggs. How is my goth bird doing? Goth bird. Goth bird, where are you? There you are. Hello, goth bird. Oh, he's not hungry. Okay, that's fine. He has no food desires. Also, this guy, I realized, turned into part seagull bear because this is his ship. He crashed it and a lot of people died. Good job, buddy. <laughs> you sure did that. Let's see. Take take the spread. Thank you. And then I will take this. Thank you. I don't- I don't think any of the- the people that he killed are here, but I did notice that up at the mayor's place- I think the statue at the mayor's place is just like- you know how people are like, here's the founders of our town. I think that's what the ship in the mayor's area's statue is. But I- I could be wrong. It's hard to like actually see the full statue because it tends to disappear if you get too close to it. But yeah, I think these are the founders of the town, not necessarily the people who died at Captain Bird's hand. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's my my updates with Cozy Grove. It looks like I got another like seven logs to give to Flamey before I unlock any new friends, and that might be like. It could be a few days, it could be a week, who knows? Oh, here's one of one of her her little creations. It's so cute. I like it. Uh and I haven't really found any wacky clothes yet. This is like the most normalish outfit I can make aside from my normal scout uniform. But I like it. Oh wait, no. Hold on. I I think I did buy one thing. Where is it? No. No. Where were you? You? Yeah! It's it's a corn dress. I can I can be corn. In fact, let's be corn. I'm gonna put on corn, I'm gonna put on my, my hat, and I think I have yellow glasses. Yeah, perfect. Now me and corn bear can be best friends. Hello, sir. Do you like my outfit? Better. Oh wait, I was gonna sell things, that's right. I gotta sell stuff. Bruh. Big guy. Hey. Take this tofu that I made and also these shells that I don't need. How much will you give me for this? Uh, 
I'll take anything I can get, honestly. Again, I'm trying to get to 200,000, and it's taking me a while. But things that you cook sell for a lot, so that's why I end up making a bunch of food as soon as I like log in. And then since it takes an hour to get made and then delivered, I just log in later in the day. Yeah. But that's Cozy Grove. It's very cute. And honestly, I like that it's just, you know, check in, say hi to your bears, leave. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess? The last thing I have is... Where is it? Super Animal Royale. And I don't know if that's something most people are interested in, but... I'll show it anyways. Let's change the game. <laughs> Let's see. We can keep it as bears, actually. That's perfect. Perfect. Update that. No, hey! Give me back my overlay. Give it. Thank you. Weirdo. No. That's not what I clicked. Super Animal Real. Okay. We will fix it. Yeah, Animal Royale is just me getting used to the Royale format so that I can get good at Apex so then I can attract that artist that I really like and maybe she'll draw fan art of me. <laughs> She posted another picture of, like, Apex players today, and I was just like, that should be me. <laughs> I really, I... <sighs> if she took commissions, this wouldn't be such an issue, <laughs> but she doesn't, so... <sighs> it, it hurts me in my heart. I should... Let me... Let me be. Let me be. I, I would give her money. Why won't she take my money? Oh, did you guys see? Uh, did I turn off the music in this? I think I did. I play too many games, just like no, no music, because I'm like, I want to focus on the sounds in the game and also whatever I'm listening to on YouTube. <laughs> uh, but this is my bear. Got a got a knife. You can customize your dudes. I think I was originally playing with the cat because cat. Uh, but yeah, there's also tiger. Uh, but I use bear because he's orange and I like orange. It's a good color. Uh, I don't have a lot of accessories. I mean, I have a couple, but I like, I like what I have on and you can earn other stuff. You get a bunch of like different things for doing like achievements and stuff. Uh, what? I want this one! I want this hat! It looks so good! Uh, and then there's a bunch of other like outfit stuff that you can get if you buy the animal pass. Uh, but I... It is early access and it is free! I don't know how much it costs. Maybe I'll look into it because I have had fun with this game so I don't mind giving them money, but... Wait, do I- can I have this? Oh wait, no, I already got it. But yeah, the super edition. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I haven't tried playing with other like people as like a team, even though that's kind of why I got this game is because I saw uh, some friends playing it. Uh, but it's just it's cute. I wish I could zoom in kind of because I do want to like see everybody's avatars better, but instead it's just tiny. <laughs> that's fine too though. Yeah. We're watching the news. But yeah, it's it's just the battle royale format. Oh yeah, shooting gallery. This is the, you know, the waiting area. Oh hey, people are people are having fun. Give me a magna. Ow, hey! I'm having fun. Do you mind? Why are they so mean? We're all just hanging out. But 
feel that I assume that it's been some kind of yeah it feels like it's kimono frenzy because uh oh my ping is high oops let's see let's look at the map I want to drop you know I've never dropped it Thomas's workshop let's let's go there I want to see oh oops I forgot to change the quality of my model for playing this oh well we'll live my ping's fine nobody's gonna yell at me and if they do that's their fault look people are already dying so like truly if you wait until like the last minute to like drop you have an advantage I got a magnum. Oh, the circle. We gotta get to the circle. It's, you know, like the, the weird fog. That's right. Jerk. Oh, armor. Oh, I'm in the- <gasps> I promise I'm usually a lot. No, I play really cautiously, but sometimes I am just like, oh, no, I don't want that. I like automatic weapons more. But yeah, it's, you know, circle gets smaller. You have to, whoa. Mm. Oh, well, I got one kill. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Also, I can't tell. I know with like uh, Dead by Daylight, you can usually tell when, oh, cute. Yeah, the way you unlock other animals and like colors is you have to get a bunch of their DNA. Uh, so we got Pigeon, but we can't play as Pigeon yet because we need more of his DNA and then we gotta use the Super Serum to create him. But they got like a bunch of different colors, they're all very cute. Uh, I thought the squirrels- squirrel has a very limited amount of colors which is unfortunate. Uh, deer's cute, you know they got like- everybody wants to be a- <gasps> I didn't notice a moose! Moose is cute! Uh, but yeah, there's many ways to become very cute in this game. <laughs> Ooh! Cute. Yeah, you just- you be- oh yeah, you can use a magnet to like, attract a certain kind of DNA. Um, which I did to get the bear, because the bear was a lot of DNA. Uh, yeah, I had to get 140 DNAs. Oh, but gingerbread bear. No, I like being orange. I'm or I'm orange today. Yeah. Let's let's do one more round and then I guess I'll end the stream since we don't have any more Jenny Clue. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna stream on Monday. I'll find something. I think Mondays I wanna do like shorter form games and then Fridays can be the longer form games like Dark Souls and uh, Bioshock. And then Saturdays, I'll just switch with, between whichever I feel like playing more. <laughs> I think that sounds like a good plan. Kind of want to play Lamb Man, because I think I have that. Oh! He's dancing! Get it, buddy! <laughs> Let's see, we can dance with him. Yeah, I just think, I just, yeah, and it's free, so I mean, why not? And it's easy to just like jump into a match really quickly, which I like about things. Like with Dead by Daylight, oh my god, it takes forever to get into a match if, hmm, Super Penguin Palace, hmm, it takes forever to get into a Dead by Day Daylight match if you are a survivor, uh, but if you play as Killer, you can get into matches pretty quickly, but it's just, if I want to play a game, I want to get in, I want to get out. Easily. Uh, I think that's also why I played just like a ton of Isaac is because I'm in, I'm out. Done and done. You.
I love the SMG. Armor, thank you. Are you sure you want to do that? That's right, that's what I thought. Punk? Give me this juice. Oh yeah, you got like super juice that you can sip. <gasps> I have ice skating! I didn't know you could do that if- oh, I gotta- I gotta go to this- this circle. Oh, but this is so fun! Give me the juice. I love having a lot of juice. Cause that's how you heal. How do I get out of here? Oh. This way. Okay. Wait, not this way? How do I get out? I need to go- the gas is advancing! Okay. You know what? Come here. I need to get out of here. Where is the circle? Oh my god, it's so far away. Okay, there it is. Ooh. Okay. Good. Let's check out this house since it's inside the circle and therefore safe. Also, you can eat the mushrooms. You can eat all sorts of things around the the map. It's very fun. Uh, I tend to stay on the outer edge of the circle because I like to catch people who are, you know, trying to come in. Because I'm evil. Yeah! There's mounts and there's little- uh oh. There's little, like, uh, hamster balls that you can run around in, which is really fun. I think it's very cute. That's what I thought, punk. Alright, I got a sip juice. I need a new... Okay. I need new armor. Is there armor in here? Can I have armor? Armor? Oh, they tried. The armor, that's bad. Maybe I'll find some. Juice is fine. I've got so much juice. They won't let me have any more. Ooh. Uh, I'll take an AK. Sure, that's fine. Hmm, I still need armor though. Armor? Maybe inside this house? No. Darn it. They will hear you. Oh! Whoa! That was one hit! Oh yay! Cute! Woohoo! I leveled up! <laughs> but yeah, it's very cute, very easy to just be like in, out. I don't think it's like difficult. You just have fun. And I haven't found any like campers or anything yet, which is great. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it for my stream for today. Thank you all for coming. I'm sorry about how unsatisfying the ending for Jenny LeClue was, but maybe it'll be better next time. <laughs> uh, I will find something for us to play on Monday. And I'm not a camper. What do you mean? <laughs> I would never. I'm the I'm the nicest player ever. Yeah, of course. I'll see you guys six on Monday. Have a great weekend. <laughs>